Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Yes, you see blue hair, summer programs. It is blue hair day or crazy hair day. So I had to get into, you know, I have to be a part of it. Um, and you also know that I'm a big Dodger fan, so go blue. All right, so today's video, um, I'm gonna kind of piggyback off of yesterday's video. Actually, no, Thursday's video. Um, you saw that the color sensor can activate a turn. Uh, today's is going to uh, utilize the ultrasonic sensor. So it's almost the same program, but we're just switching it to the ultrasonic sensor. You're going to have to stay with me to see this. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I was driving um, in my brother's car the other day and I was hearing this beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, what was that? Oh, he was getting too close to the car behind him. I heard the beep, beep again and two people had walked in front of us. So those of you that teach robotics can incorporate this program with cars nowadays that can sense things behind or in front. Uh, the Roomba or the iRobot vacuums have a sensor so that they don't not crashing into things. So if you're teaching students and want to make that connection, um, you can show them that, you know, these sensors are around us all day, uh, you know, with things that we're using. So check this, uh, check this program out to see what it does and I'll run it for you. Okay, I'm on my Lego Mindstorms EV3 robot here. I'm in a brick program and this is uh, super easy to do. Here's all we do. We're going to go up. We're going to go over to our move tank. You know, just a forward move tank block. We're now going to go... Now, the other uh, video, we went to this color sensor. We're going to skip that for today, and we're going to go to this ultrasonic sensor. And then, um, instead of 120, just... Oops, sorry. Um, just because 120 is really far, I'm just going to drop this down to 30. And then, if the ultrasonic sensor sees something within 30 centimeters... It's just going to activate that same turn we did before. And then I'll just put this on for one second. And then we're going to go to this last block and just loop this so that it just keeps going on and on and on. All right. So let's go back to the beginning and just watch this. Let's go to the floor. Okay. So I have this robot on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and start the program. And then if it just sees my foot, that's what activates the turn. And the kids love this. They love to be in control and think that they're controlling something. Yeah, this harvester bot, it's not the most solid robot in the world. But uh, you can see how the program works. Okay, what I'm trying to do is get this thing to go towards the wall just so that, you know, I can show that this is like a car or a vacuum cleaner if it gets too close to the wall. And there's your turn. So this is a really simple program. I mean, I've had kindergartners do this program, first graders do this program. And they just love doing this. I mean, it's almost like it's their dog and they just get to have it follow them. There we go. Uh, you gotta be careful of this cable that the ultrasonic sensor doesn't see the cable. All right, guys, loads of fun. And the best part about it, it was a brick program and it was super easy and fast. Okay guys, so those of you that teach robotics again, that might be just starting off, just trying to figure out, hey, what simple things can I show my students? Hopefully today's program was simple enough where they're like, yeah, that's cool, and it didn't take forever to program. And then, you know, as I continue to go through my summer program with these elementary uh, age students, I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing these um, programs that you can do in just a snap and it's really fun, it's really neat for the kids to see, okay? All right, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.